and we are recording. Sex one two. Sex one two. Sex one two. I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? Sorry. Hello. Hello. Oh, and we're just you know doing our classic yes. mic check. Yes. Room tone. Nope. Not room tone yet. <laughs> just mic check. Room tone. Room tone. Mic check. Hey guys, room tone. Mic check. Suck my fucking dick. No, oh, no, no, mic no, no, no. check. Turn the, turn the, ra- mic check. Turn the gorilla radio. Suck my dick off. Jerk my dick off. Mic check. Dick check. Gorilla radio. Rip my dick off. All right. Uh, can I get a mic check? Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. One, two, three. You are a little loud. Let me get another mic check. Let me get a mic check, baby. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. It was the Pope's man. Those yawns are coming crystal clear. Sorry. No, no. We got them. I'm tired. No, it's... Hey, it's just a quick little intro. We don't need to... It's fine. I'm tired. I'm actually tired as fuck too. So, all right. Let me get one more mic check. I said, let me get one more mic check. One more mic check. Yeah, yeah. One more mic check. Why am I so quiet? Why am I so? Why am I I'm kind of fucking quiet? Quiet. Why am I quiet? Is it because I'm whispering? But I'm not. I'm really not. But are you? I don't think so. Oh, that was pretty comparable. Maybe you're just a liar. <laughs> okay. Good evening. This, what you're listening to, is... Oh, fuck. I'm so fucked. The Brat Podcast. What? You're listening to the Brat Podcast. Oh my god. Okay. Good evening. What you were about to listen to is... Fuck me. <laughs> okay. Alright, hey guys. Um, This is a preview premium episode. Um, This episode is available uncensored. On um, Patreon.pussy Patreon.com slash TVPpod uh, And This is basically a test run For what uh, Second week uh, Two episodes a week Would look like On Patreon If you so subscribed To Patreon.com Slash TVP pod. Um, Sarah? Well, you took my fucking job. You said all, you said my words. Oh, I know. It really felt, it felt <laughs> weird too to do it. I know. Well, I guess I have to inform you guys that, um, because it is June month that it JoJo is the second Siwa, week of Pride. Well, I guess JoJo we're answering Siwa, the third week of Pride. I have a really important announcement. Close Jojo Siwa, Jojo Siwa has returned to Rainbow Sparkles, as it is Pride Month. Mm, so Black Sparkles are out. Rainbow Sparkles are back in. Yes. That was did not last long. I just thought I really need to let you guys know that. But I have a Pride news, news, news. She will be back to the Black Sparkles come July. She will be inventing a new sexuality. Come July. Um, And a new genre of music to go with it. Yeah. (laughs) It's gay pop. She invented gay pop. She, yeah. She reinvented it. At the very least. I'm just leaving that. So, basically, that's all you need to know. Wait, no. You need to know one more thing. Come, come in closer. Hey, you. 
Yeah, you yeah, listen to the podcast with your dick out. <gasps> Put it away. Wearing a shirt and no underwear like Winnie the fucking Pooh, you little freak. Come over here. Actually, completely naked because I'm getting ready for bed. Grabs you by your micro penis. <sighs> um, you need to listen to TVP forty three before listening to this episode. Otherwise, it'll make no sense. No, but really, it starts, it's literally like one-to-one. There's, the, obviously there's an outro, but the conversation is, it's, 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 it's liquid. It's, it's smooth. It's, it's fluid. So. Yeah. Do yourself a flavor. A gaver, if you will. I'm just living that Von Dutch life. Go plastic for your hands off. Oh, shit. <laughs> I what? should have well I should have opened the soundboard app so we could have like kind of like put well we can still do it. Well like, let's just pretend that we're listening to Padum Padum right now, you know? Padum 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 Why did my computer trying to move this call? Oh you wanna take me? Alright guys, enjoy the episode. We'll see you next week. Subscribe to the Patreon. What is it, Sarah? Sarah do your job. Sarah, do your job, your job, okay, your um, job, your TV. fucking little job. Oh no, it's shh, shh. patreon.com backslash TVP pod. TVP pod. Now this one, pay attention. Beach Park Residents. We know those. I'm sorry? We know about them. Yes. We know we, about them. We know about this uh, <laughs> phylum of people. It's funny because, um, I'm not sorry. Uh, when I tell my coworkers about my second job, mm-hmm. they're like, oh yeah, I'm very familiar with that parking lot. Oh. Because Love shit's deals. always... Ha- Oh, just because shit's well, they just they know the liquor store more so because shit's always just happening in that parking lot. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we see it all the time. That's true. So, um, FBI, oh, sorry, Beach Park resident convicted with others of conspiracy of conspiring to abduct victims at gunpoint in Chicago area. So, a Beach Park resident and a Chicago resident, uh, Tai Han La and Sedgwick Williams uh, have been running some sort of trafficking ring between Beach Park and Chicago. Jesus Christ. And uh, both of them, I think. Yeah, well, they're facing life in jail, which, I mean, good. Yes. Um... I wonder if the reason that they know about the parking lot is because it's like a hot uh, trafficking spot. Yeah. Um, honestly, looking through the Lake County scanner for locals only stories uh, started making me feel like a true a true crime wife. Like I was like, oh, my God, there's crime all around us. Oh, yes. What is this world coming to? Um, that is true. Yeah. A baby got shot in the head and. Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the story that like really made me go, damn, crime. <laughs> crime yep. is on the come up. No, I mean, it's not. But like, dude, a baby got domed. I hate that, you, that you're saying that. <laughs> Fucking. I made a meme. You made a meme. Oh, my God, guys. Fuck locals only. Sarah made a meme. Okay, continue. Sorry. <laughs> no, please. What's the meme? We ride these bits. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my fucking god. I just noticed the high. Oh it's god. because it's the same. All I do. No, I know. I know. Oh I'm saying god. I didn't notice it before either. Yeah, I just. I covered oh up my Snoop. God. Uh. Etenji. You need to be doing the podcast artwork from now on. 
No. No. I don't know how to use bo- Photoshop. I oh. was about to say, I don't know how to use podcasts. Dude, I, don't even... <laughs> I don't know how to use shit. I do not know how to uh, podcast. How to podcast. I... I love Apple. I need more grays like Ram. I knew I love Apple. I don't know how to podcast. <laughs> Dude, why does not how to how to podcast? podcast? How to podcast? Uh, do not know how to podcast? A podcast, yeah, podcast. <laughs> I'm Italian, no? <laughs> yeah. Guido the Ram. <laughs> I think it's podcast. I don't think they changed it. No, I'm pretty like I, from what I've heard, it's still Guido the Ram. Good for honestly, we beat woke. Hold on, hold on. Um, we didn't go woke, and my we boys, didn't go broke. My boy's little brother just graduated, so let me hit him up. Uh, my God, I could have just Googled confirmed. it if I really nope. cared. Mm. But um, but um, but um, but um, but um, Okay. Let, I will let you know when he answers. Thank you. We will keep the podcast going until then. Absolutely. Um, okay. Five hours later. Now, I haven't determined whether this next piece of news is also heroic or not. I, I haven't looked into it. Haven't done my research. Um, although I, I, I can guarantee you Sarah is going to, just based on vibes alone, call this person a queen. Okay, Lincolnshire go. Lincolnshire woman who intentionally set fire to her home with husband sleeping inside. Oh, in I've 20... heard about him. I'm, I mean, I've heard about this. Sleeping in... Yes, queen. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping inside in 2021, sentenced to 36 months of home confinement. I'm pretty sure he was abusive as fuck. No, again, I, I mean, listen. So again, queen. Listen, I said I, said I didn't look into it. I said I didn't know. I said that you, based on vibes alone, would call her a queen. Yes. And you did. But you also have prior knowledge, so it's not really vibes alone. But yeah, obviously. I just remember reading this headline because I get um, notifications about the county scanner. Obviously, I support Twitter. women's rights and women's wrongs. Let's read. And I want to know. I want to know more about our queen. Okay, let me read. Queen. She is kind of hot. <laughs> not going to lie. A Lincolnshire woman who intentionally... She knows she reminds me of... Um, Mirage. Mirage. <gasps> yes. yes. She's got the facial structure. Mm-hmm. For um, sure. Oh, for sure. And you can see the... the She used to have uh, blonde highlights, so she could easily Queen. go platinum. But no, besides Mirage. Wait, who did we say could play Mirage? Um, She played in um, uh, 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 Severance. She played the wife. Of yes, yes, yes. I do want me to pull up her name. No, it's okay because we're not. And people aren't oh, Jason know, already answered. People aren't going to know her by name anyway. As far as I know, he is still. We beat woke guys. We beat woke. Guido the woke ram. But Guido the ram is not woke. Fucking. We beat the Italians, guys. Um. No, I was gonna say she looks like the girl from Umbrella Academy. I could see it. Could tell. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Lincoln Chair woman intentionally set intentionally set her home on fire in twenty twenty one. I mean, it's her home. It's her property. Let her do what she wants with it, right? No, for real. I mean, God. Uh. A Lincolnshire woman who intentionally set her home on fire in 2021 to harm her husband while he was sleeping was sentenced to 36 months of periodic imprisonment. Periodic imprisonment in Lake County Court Thursday. Court records show Jisha Kurian, 35, of Lincolnshire, was sentenced, was also sentenced to 48 months of probation, 200 hours of public service, and ordered to not consume alcohol, drugs, or be anywhere near alcohol is sold, court records show. So she can go to a dispo? Okay, I would like to complain before we read on. I've alluded uh, on the podcast a couple times to my legal troubles, but I have not shared them. And now, this is not... I'm not hating on Jisha. 
I think, you know, I'm glad that she's not getting the book thrown at her. I'm glad that she's been sentenced to um, not being able to go out to girls' night for 36 months or whatever. She's been she's been sentenced to um, watching Netflix, but um, good for her. We stand. However, I. I did not attempt to murder my husband. I stole six smartphones from a billion dollar fucking tech. corporation. Correct. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> legally Don't speaking, out yourself. Legally speaking, I only stole five, but I stole six. How'd you get away with that sixth one? Huh? How'd you get away with that sixth I one? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, I see, it, it boggles me. I mean, it's one thing that they didn't charge me with fraud and, and went with retail theft. Fine. That I can understand them like not seeing because they didn't understand the craft that was behind my scheme. But how did you miss a, f- a whole phone? <laughs> that that like if that was me, that like it would irk me, and I'd like want to correct them. No, straight <laughs> up, I had to hold back. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, but like it's honestly, it's 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 kind of it's kind of uh, like a small victory, you know. Yeah, you got away with one. Got away with one. Didn't make any money off it, but got away with one. Um, yeah, so all I did was steal six smartphones and <laughs> give them back to the community. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? what? All I did was steal six smartphones. She set her house on fire. I know. To I know. Together. It's funny, though. It's just, it's just like all I did was commit multiple counts of theft, but I also support it. Like, I pass as white. I'm a man. Why didn't I get privilege? <laughs> you did. No, I know. Because you're... <laughs> you, it was your first offense. Yeah, I mean... So I, you should have been in jail. Otherwise. Mean? Like, it's your first offense. So they, like, that helped. But that's not a privilege. That just means you've not... I mean... You haven't been caught before? Well, I mean, that is one way of looking <laughs> at it. Yeah. But what, all, what I'm saying is, like... I don't know. I also just feel like for what you like for what you did, if it was somebody else's first offense. I mean, yeah, obviously not everyone gets the the uh, I get I see what you're saying, and I don't disagree. What I'm saying is can they I don't think I guess they could choose to charge as if it weren't someone's first offense. Mm-hmm. I like obviously it depends on the degree of the of the oh, crime. Yeah, I guess yeah, because it's more like a consideration. They go, well, this is your first offense. Yeah. So damn yeah. Obviously, I know that I received privilege. Yeah. What I'm saying <laughs> is just that like all I did was steal six smartphones. Yeah. No. You're and, just yeah. The, and she attempted to up. murder her husband. As she should. <laughs> Again, I'm. This is not me criticizing Jisha. I'm just saying it's criticizing the establishment. Yes. I just feel like like I also got I'm pretty sure I got 48 months of probation and probably I definitely got less community service. I think I had 30 hours to complete. How much does she have? 200. Yeah. Did you do yours? Nope, not a single minute. Period. But it's not like I got it's not like I've got away with it. No, that's true. I didn't finish my fucking probation. Um. Now I said I would I would reveal, but I was just revealing my crime. I'm not going to go into my whole fucking history of what's going on with it. At least not in this episode. No, because that requires an entire episode. Honestly. And um, we should do that, Thor. Though. Thor. Thor. Though. Yeah. Though we should. we should have an episode dedicated to us talking about crime history or criminal history. Mm-hmm. I forgot about yours. Um, it's valid. No, no. I... <laughs> I am a real criminal. Um, was yours a felony? Yeah. Okay, so you're doing better I'm than a me. I'm okay. felon. I'm not a Convict felon. Me. I just have a couple of misdemeanors. Okay, I got those. Um, oh, I know you do. Traffic wise. I know you do, baby. I <laughs> know. <laughs> uh, Anyways, all I'm saying is that <sighs> you love traffic misdemeanors. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving on. <laughs> Sorry. This is a public <laughs> flogging of me. Uh, Roast of Zachary Allen. <laughs> that would be something. I wanted to put on the roast of Donald Trump yesterday, but I feel like a lot of our customers Lib. wouldn't appreciate that. Oh, on. Yeah, at at work. work. That's funny. What's that on? Uh, Pamount? 
But that sounds about right because because we have Pamount and we have Pamount. Pada. I think we only have Pamount. Padam Mount Plus. Because we use Netflix, but I just found out that it's actually one of our butt tenders Netflix accounts, and she just logged herself in. Padam Mount Plus. Yes. Meanwhile, on Padam Padam Mountain. Highland Park in Oof. in in, in, in Oh sorry, he's just so ugly. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Alright. Second to last story. Our our buddy uh Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> Let's not start with that, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy, friend mass of, murderer. Friend yeah, of the show. Yeah, boy. Friend of the show, Bobby no. Cremo. <laughs> no. We, the Highland we Park support mass shooting cops, not innocent people. Yes, this is true. That being said, friend of the show, Bobby Cremo, I the fucking hate you. Island Park Parade shooter, appears in brief. Okay, listen. Technically, because... you want to call Kyle up now too? <laughs> no, because he's not a friend of the show. Neither is Robert Cremo. <laughs> but listen, well, actually, no. You could actually say that because you, we no, we do have a we do have a, a bacon number with with both of them. Because you have a, mine's literally only like two. A, a, a previous customer who might be related to Kyle. Oh, that no, I was talking about from high school. Of I went to school with somebody who was besties with him and oh, is like still okay. to this day. So we've got two connections to Kyle. You've got you know someone who's besties with him, and you know maybe someone who's related to him. So that's blood and uh, blood and pussy. Exactly. Oh wow. Sorry, I just knowing her, I would not be surprised if she let Kyle hit. Blood and Pussy sounds like the sequel to Milk and Honey. Stop it. Because she's just like the... the We talked about her already. Um, You're... Yeah. Yes. Yes. But she's just the epitome of pick me. Mm. So the, I... Yeah, pick me. Yeah. Mm. I just... I would be surprised if she hasn't fucked Kyle, Being honestly. a pick me. Being a pick me, but for white nationalist mass shooters. <laughs> Fucking insane behavior. I'm sorry. I got loud again. That one was like, oh acceptable. my God. Uh, oh, I know that pussy. Right? And then Bobby Cremo, of course. She probably hit too. We know we have a connection to because of Tyler. Yeah. You know. They're besties. They're besties, and their friendship went down the drain, and Bobby Cremo tried to assassinate Tyler and instead settled for all of Highland Park. Yeah. Um. So, friend of the show, Bobby. Dude, Kramer. Tyler wishes. <laughs> Tyler wishes he had this much clout, dude. No, for real though, because if he did, he would be fucking. Oh my god. We also have to go over Tyler's delusions. That's another point. episode. Yeah, we need to do that with Aaron. I think both Aaron's, to be honest. Um, I was gonna say, I'm like, which one? Well, we've got Aaron Barnes keeps track of his Twitter. Love. And then Aaron She's just, you know, that. is you know, an ex friend like me. So, okay, so uh, he appears in a brief court hearing next date scheduled to review trial motions. Sorry, guys, not too much news, but any honestly, I just love mentioning Bobby Cremo. Um, I wonder if he's got any, like... Uh, New tats? <laughs> Sorry. Got any prison tats yet, Cremo? I was going to say, I wonder if he's got any, like, fans, you know? Oh, I'm sure like, he does. Like, people, like, let her in love with him. And I'm sure. Letters and shit. There are um, always batshit crazy people in this world that want to fuck a serial killer. A mass murderer, honestly. Not even serial. Mass did murder. He, did he murder a mass of people? I know he's yes. a mass shooter. But Dude, I don't, I'm I pretty sure multi, I, I can't remember how many people, people he died. murked. I can't remember how many people. I mean, people. not not how nearly as, ma- as many as... Many uh, Kyle? Well, I Kyle was going to say, two. like, the Las Vegas shooter. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. sorry. Obviously, he he didn't beat the high score of mass shootings. I'm sorry. Have I ever have I ever told a fun fact about about how I I like I was friends with somebody who basically caused the Las Vegas shoot shooting. I am sorry. One of my friends from middle school high high school that one of my Chicago friends seven people. Robert Cremo killed okay. seven people. Um, one of my Chicago friends and from I think like high 60 school. Sixty people died in the Las Vegas shooting. Yes, Zach, I know. I'm sorry, your friend. Can, mm, former. Um, because she's crazy for other reasons. Sorry. Uh, but no, one of my Chicago friends. Um, look at me. Sorry. <laughs> you know her. Yeah. Stop it. I'll bleep it. Um, yeah, because I I was never supposed to repeat this. 
Oh. Well, sorry, Mal was never supposed to repeat it, and he repeated it to me. <laughs> because I'm sorry, it's too batshit not to say anything. Um, okay. Did I unfollow so this is like, Oh my god, this is actual fucking... We're actually breaking a story right now. This is a village exclusive. No, kind of though. Oh, sorry. What was the village exclusive? It's a village exclusive. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh wow, dude! I got it on the fucking dude, money. Block me? I got it on the money. The Las Vegas shooter killed uh, sixty people. And wounding 413. So, yeah, obviously. Yeah, 61. 61 people. So, yeah. I don't know if she deleted her account Anyone or... Anyone trying to top that number? Can I see your phone? Uh, yeah. I want to see if she deleted her account or blocked me. Um, but basically, um, this girl that I used to be friends with, her father is a, like, millionaire. Um, mm-hmm. Who owns the company oh my god who sold i think she deleted her account who sold steven paddock his guns and all of his ammunition like Holy everything shit everything he got from somebody i knew somebody i used to know his father like directly or from their store the company, the company. like he went to the comp like the company that he got all of his yeah. guns and ammunition from was my former friend's father's company store Right, like it, company. It's a brick and, yes, I know he owns a company, but I'm saying like, do they have like a? I don't know if they have a fucking storefront. I don't know what this company is even called. Right. Well, I guess what I'm trying to ask. I just the the lore is that I my my former friend's father sold guns and ammunition to the Las Vegas Steven shooter. Stephen Paddock. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. Stephen Paddock, the fucking piece of shit. Like I don't know why you have to say his name. Oh, because it it emboldens. Uh, He's nobody. Shooters. He's nobody. He's the ghost. Zachary Slade. <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry, but he no, is. No, this, this is not funny. It's not like he's the pulse shooter. It really doesn't fucking matter. Shooters are shooters. They have murdered shooters people. Shooters get to shoot. <laughs> I hate you. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> wow well thank you for breaking that here on the village um that's insane so we know we know someone responsible for the las vegas shooting well you you know i don't associate with those kind of people um <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> oh fuck all right, last one. He's a parent's worst nightmare. Judge orders detention of Mundelein Man. Okay, I'm man. sorry. He got... Sorry, I'm looking it up. It's okay. He got... He got it from multiple companies. He, oh. I mean, yeah, he had a lot of guns and ammunition, so... Um, that that seems... No, accurate. but he... A lot of it was... From, I mean, he had 24 firearms. Yeah, yeah. Um... You know, there's all sorts of, like, conspiracy theories that, like, uh, that, like, he was basically, like, a spook, and the government, like, pulled that shooting off, like, I think it, the, the idea is, like, it supposedly was, like, to push, like, you know, gun reform, but, like, you know, I don't think, I think, did we get rid of bump stocks as a result of that shooting? Maybe. Know. Anyways, if uh, whether or not that happened, there really was just no. Uh, they didn't get anything done as far as like actual reform. So, if it was a psyop, it was a complete failure. But um, but um, but uh, okay, that's the new but um is but um. It's official. But um, but um. Sorry, I'm just looking up like all of the companies and seeing if I can figure out who. 
Say what? Oh, you want to know who gave him the most? No, I want to see if I can figure out who's uh, which company is my friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's... That's cool. I don't think he's a CEO. I don't know though, like what his fucking. Mm-hmm. Gay, gay men, gay men, gay, gay men, gay men. Who's Daniel? Make me the bus. I worship like a. Burn out, burn out. Damn it. The one company that sounds like Rush, like a Russian company, the guy died in 2013. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really. All right. Well, and I doubt he owns Ruger American or Smith and Wesson. Yeah, I doubt. <laughs> I highly doubt it. <laughs> I mean, Ruger is German. And, uh, yes, but I also don't know if it's necessarily a Russian company. I just I, more so I'm looking for like an owner or CEO yeah. with a Russian. No, well, I, the thing yeah. is, I also know her fucking name. Right. Um. But, Ugh. Yeah. Hey, man, we got the tea. We do. We got the tea. Yeah, it was more so for me personally. Yeah. Well, then I guess we could have done it after the show. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Okay. So, do you want to finish? Yes, we can finish the the the, the show. The podcast. The I'm podcast. Just, right, the podcast. Waiting the for podcast. you. Waiting for you. What do you want me to say, you bitch? Well, what I'm do you want me to? Me. I want to know about the Mandalite man accused of possessing hundreds of photos of child pornography. <laughs> Damn, this is a good episode. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, compared to last night. Damn. Yeah, I know. Even Wolfie told me. Yeah. Damn, Wolfie told you the episode was bad. Well, he said. That it lost focus. He said the beginning was really good, and then it seemed like we lost focus. Yeah, that tends to happen. And I, <laughs> that's You're what I say. I'm sorry. No, literally, I was like, I was like, okay. Because, I mean, I knew this. Yeah. I, I was like, this. okay, but is this only something you're seeing in this episode? That is exactly or what I said. Oh, and have, we, have we managed to cover it because, up? Because, honestly, if that was the first time that you got that feeling... <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Yeah, I mean, you're really good at your fucking job. Because it's basically every, every episode, episode I feel that way until it's finished editing. <laughs> um, but I feel like that's also just a part of recording. You, yeah. As as the longer you record, you kind of start to lose focus and you're going to have to edit more out and, you know, adjust. But that's yeah. what editing is for because we're not perfect. I mean, ADHD is in the crest no, of the I'm podcast. Sorry. Like, if you. If, sorry, I was adjusting. So that's I know. Fine. It's okay. But, like, if, if you don't like it, get the fuck out of here. This is a shit post. Damn. I'm sorry, but this is a shit post in audio form. Mm-hmm. This and it's is, beautiful. This is a rock cast. Like Brain rock podcast. Yeah, no, I got you. Uh, yeah. A brock cast. A brock cast. We brought worst. Oh, uh, shout out, Brat. We really brought the it's worst to come out. today. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, A, I do think it's an improvement on last week. B. Um, I, it doesn't take much to improve on last week. <laughs> sorry. God damn. <laughs> Yeah, no, last week was a shit show. I'm glad you recognize that, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was tired. I mean, no, yeah, no, it's okay. Oh, Listen, I'm, I'm working thing. late. Here's the... Because I'm a caster. I'm a bud tender. Um, listen, not every episode is going to be a winner. Listen, Linda. Um, we work full time. We... Uh, I work Are full-time. mentally ill. Okay. I work full time... No, oh. you do basically, and when it comes to what you're doing as a job, even though you're not actually working full time hours, the labor itself basically equals full time. Thank you. Of course, I got you. And I produce a podcast, so yeah, so I'm they're not all going to be winners. Um, I'm a and like caster, I'm okay podcaster. with that. I'm also okay with like, like when I when I further interrogated Wolfie on it. You know, he, like he said, yes, he has felt that we have lost focus before, but this was the only time he felt it was like to the detriment of the whole episode. And that's fine. Like, A? It, it's either, 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 either put out a, a, subpar. a subpar po- episode or a skip a episode. week exactly. or make it late or something like that. And right. it's like, even if we made it late, how much better could we would have had to just re-record a lot of it. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's either put something out or don't. And we chose to put and something out. And we did. Out. 
because not every episode can be a banger. No, listen, we we produce a lot of bangers here, um, and there's been times where I thought an episode, whether it was in season this, whether it was this era, or when we first started. There's been times where I thought an episode was a complete shit show, and it ended up being one of the best we'd ever done. Um, that wasn't last week, <laughs> or even the week before. Mm-hmm. We like honestly, that's what what made me feel good was that was our, in my opinion, that was our second week in a row of putting out a subpar podcast. Um, and and it was and it was we just got called out. So again, I feel good. Not every episode can be a banger. And also, every podcast is boring. Uh. Yes. Like, generally, a podcast is like 95% boring, 5% like funny slash entertaining. Um, and you sort of kind of like retcon the podcast behind you as being hilarious because you laughed once or twice. Um, and I think that with that in mind, I think we, I think we've got a good, uh, ratio of, of, you know, entertainment to rambling, yapping. Bullshit, I love to yap. Boring. I love to yap. So. Yes. I'm I love not, to yap. I'm not worried. Like Sarah said, it's more important that we put out an episode every week. Um, and that's what I tell myself and that's how I sleep at night. And, um, that's what floats my boat. And also, the beginning was really good. He said, "So I'm taking that." And it was. I think that I think it was very funny. The first like twenty minutes. Um, and also, like, Eat we're it. not even at episode fifty yet. Believe it. it or not, Eat we're it from still the back. figuring out what this show is. Eat it from the back. Um, and you know, like when we did the 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 movie series. Uh, things kind of broke down because, you know, we were focusing less on being funny and more about sort of like just sort of uh, sharing our opinions and stuff. And that's the type type of podcast I don't like. But also, what's the point of having one if I can't speak my mind? You know, I care about things. And, um, yeah, so we're going to get political. We're going to get silly. We're going to get distracted it's gonna happen um i love getting silly (laughs) yeah so he's a parent's worst nightmare judge orders detention of mundelein manic see i mean look at that we just did a whole fucking tangent we did multiple tangents in the middle in the middle of a mini podcast like we're this isn't even the village people right now this is all locals only and we've taken like three tangents within a tangent tangent so yeah He's a parent's worst nightmare. Judge orders detention of Mundelein man accused of possessing hundreds of photos of child pornography. Ah, uh, what? That's a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What is it with twenty-three-year-olds? Damn! Calling him a parent's worst nightmare. Oh, by the way, we are over the hero section of locals only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A Lake County judge ordered the detention of a Mundelein man accused of having hundreds of pictures of child pornography on his phone. However, prosecutors said during the detention hearing of Alexis Chavez, 23, that the Mundelein man <gasps> revealed gruesome details on social media of looking for a random ch- um child. And that's the episode. Grape. <laughs> and how Chavez was looking for a babysitting job so he could groom a child. Jesus. This is why men can't be. This is why men aren't allowed in 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 childcare. This fuck these fucking guys. Is there ruining more, it for? Or is this it? Oh no, there's definitely gotta be more. Like holy shit! Dude, he wanted to be a babysitter to groom a child. Did he said he just said that he just gave that shit up? What an idiot! Assistant Lake County State's Attorney Lillian Lewis also said that Chavez boasted on social media of assaulting a four year old child in another state and how he was looking to sexually assault an infant. What brother, and I'm not brother, not my brother. The evidence shows a threat to the community in, of course, many different ways. But what is most concerning to the state is he is discussing his plan to kidnap and sexually assault a random child, this being an infant child, and that grape would potentially result in the child's death. Jesus Christ. Oh, like he's planning for that. Well, I mean, just rape in general of an infant 
rarely can the child no, survive. Yeah, I, I knew a girl. I knew a girl from Kenosha who knew a girl whose baby daddy. F- I remember that. Yeah. You told me about yeah. that. Like, that's fucking insane. And then she also knew a girl that fucked her dog. Oh, that's it. But yeah, no, that it's she was crazy. Really if like if I remember correctly, like it was like maybe like four months old, and like he basically like he was like waiting for it to like get big enough or something, and it was like he thought it was just like just time, uh, and yeah, that yeah. Mm-mm. 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 Did I say fucked a baby to death? Did I say that? I don't know. You might have. I'm sorry. It's fine. I just, I have to figure out a way to censor that a little bit. <laughs> just a tad. Yeah. Uh, Lewis added in court that there was no way to monitor, curtail, or protect the public because Chavez carried out the pornography crimes while using his cell phone in his own home on internet apps that could be downloaded and utilized from anywhere in the world. So he needs to be tried on the on a global basis. <laughs> At the Hague. Fucking bring him in front of the UN. He needs to be tried right next to Israel. Quite frankly, mm-hmm. there are no. Honestly, he might just move to Israel. Yeah. Might be the best move. Quite frankly, there are no pre-trial conditions that would stop him from both violating and him continuing to carry out these. I want to know what social media sites he was bragging about fucking a. Because f- Instagram won't even let me call myself a slut. No, it's true. Uh, yeah, at the same time, because of that, they you probably can't say, would allow you can't someone say to post autistic, about how they want to groom somebody. But, but you can use the R word. It's insane. Um, no, it's crazy because, I'm sorry, but Instagram, like, it's like they look for, like, tone, too. Like, if you have an attitude, they'll, <laughs> add, they'll be like, are you sure are you, you, sure you want to post, post this? Like, yes, I am absolutely fucking and sure. I am so fucking, like, scared of getting another Instagram account taken away. I hit that undo button like every time now. Oh, I don't. It's I just used because, to not. It's because um, it's not them. It's because they think that they are looking at um, like keywords that are included a lot in reports. Mm. And then when they see that, they're like, hey, so this might get reported by somebody else. Yeah. Not necessarily well, that. Every time I have not clicked undo, it, it was a problem. Which so now I'm just bullshit. undoing every time. There's times where I'm like, it's usually just know. me calling myself a slut. It's There's, so like, but Instagram is automatically like, are you sure you want to do this? But I'm girl, like, if anybody girl, has a problem girl. with this, they need to yeah. go to log therapy. off. Yeah. Because no, I mean, there's times you're projecting. Where... Because if I'm calling myself a slut, what does that have to do with you? Mm-hmm. Literally, what does that have to do with you? There's been times where I hit undo and then didn't change it at all and hit hit post again. And it was like, are you sure? And I hit undo again. Because, like, literally, I'm just, like, I mean, I've all, I have know my account has already been dinged once. I just I just can't. Yeah. I can't risk it. Yeah. Not like I've got much to risk anymore, but anyways, so. Is that, uh, say, at Gender Mountain Forest Reserve? <laughs> Gender Mountain? Where? One person was injured after falling at bottom of a steep slope at Gender Mountain Forest Reserve. We lost another bottom today, guys. Oh, yeah. Back to the pedo. 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 Uh, no, you can't do that. Patangja deemed Chavez a real and present danger to the people of Lake County and ordered Chavez to detain in Lake County Jail until trial. Yeah, I'm scared I'm going to get diddled. I'm looking at the information. There are 20 different counts of possession of a child pornography. Only 20? Uh, continue. No, I'm just saying like... But, I, but I'm guessing if you add up every you. one of them, it wouldn't be 20 counts. It would be hundreds. Oh. Like... Yeah, you're right, right, dude. Right in front of your fucking face. Media literacy is so dead. Uh, I'm just saying because normally with stories like these, it's like it's like terabytes or petabytes, which is an actual thing, petabytes. Um, so that's why I was surprised it was just 20 counts. But so what? It's like how how do you have 20 counts, but it's more than 20? I don't know. All right. Uh, Pot cognac. Went on to say the disturbing statements uncovered on Chavez's social media apps are extremely detrimental to the He's safety of the people one, of Lake um, County. That one Trump social media. Truth Social. Yeah. Yeah, one of them, or maybe uh, what's Rumble? Could be Rumble too. To me, that sounds like a gay dating app. Cause hum- probably because yeah, it's I'm, too on close hum- to, I'm on Hummer. It's uh, it's too close to Bumble. I'm on Blumpkin. So like Rumble. Oh yeah, you want to Rumble? You want to tussle? Yeah, have you tried you wanna- a new social media site, Blumpkin? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'm on glory hole. <laughs> oh, you're getting too obvious with it. It's not funny. Because rumple isn't sexual. It just <laughs> sounds like it is. <laughs> Runkle. You just took a glory hole and called it <laughs> glory hole. And it's like, <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Because that is actually sexual. <laughs> Yeah. The joke is no longer there. <laughs> no, but that is the joke. No. All right. It's bad. You got the child pornography, then coupled with it. Oh, sorry. Are you, are you reading it like that? You got the child pornography. You got the child pornography. You got, the child pornography. Yeah. You got this. You got that. Yeah. Put it together. Yeah. Let's go. Bada bing, bada boom. You got right. <laughs> bada ding, bada ding. Bada ding. Bada 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 Let's get. I said, said bada bing, bada, bada boom, boom, and you got right. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Wait, what's that Maroon 5 song, though? Following, following, following. Following, following, following. Is that Maroon 5? I think it's at least Adam Levine. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting out of control. You got the child pornography, then coupled with it being, well, I don't even know how to describe it, disturbing plans he's making. It appears the possession and dissemination... Dissemination of child pornography is the foundation, and his thoughts are escalating to more than just watching. And bro, his thoughts are escalating. He literally said he already did it. Where he actually talks about in his sick mind kidnapping a four year old and and graping it, but he also did it not say that he bragged about already doing it. Boasted on social media. Yeah, it's not clear, but it sounds like. He boasted on social media of assaulting a four-year-old child in another state and how he was looking to sexually assault an infant. So that, to me, seems like he already did something. Uh, Chavez of the 200 block of North Greenview Avenue in Mundelein represent <laughs> is currently charged with 20 class two counts of possession of child pornography with victims ranging from infant to 13 years of age. Oy, oy, oy. Or in other words, uh, the victims range from infant to Seinfeld's girlfriend. Uh, court records show. Sorry, she was 17, not 13. Chavez is also facing one class X felon. You could say uh, ranging from infant to Jimmy Page's girlfriend. How about that? Chavez is also facing one class X felony count. Ooh, damn. That's a big one. Class X? That's like what uh, what Tim got charged for the drugs that got delivered to the house it was a class X. Uh, reproduction of child pornography after police determined evidence. Chavez shared pornographic videos of children through his social media accounts. Oh my God. It could just be Twitter. Honestly, it could just be Twitter. He could just be doing all this no, on Elon's true. Twitter. Like all this is dude, you know about the, the guy, there was a, a, a Twitter account that Elon reinstated when he took over that was taken down for child pornography but the supposedly the guy posts it um to prevent child predators or something <laughs> post child pornography to yes. Yes. you're gonna make them flock i know huh <laughs> he was just reverse he was psychology just, he was just, give them what they want he was just making a fucking gooning page for for child predators and, and saying it was activism Talk about, sl- that, you know, they call you. they call things slacktivism. This was this was jacktivism. Uh, yeah, so I think I think we basically got the gist. We basically got the gist. We, we basically, guys, uh, jizz we jizz secured. We got him. So, um, oops, man, I keep doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Uh, Please, so, no. What? Dr. Jordan Peterson air, airs Pride Month grievances. <laughs> okay, should we do this? Yes. Well, hold on, let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. All right, so that's uh, that's an, that's that it. All for, you did was look up Pride news. That's it for locals only this week. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, welcome back to the village, people. All right, we were about to show. Welcome we back were from about- the three-hour session of locals only. Yes, um, and um, we're gonna do one more pride-related uh, segment because, um, well, I don't know why we're calling him Doctor. He's not Doctor no more. But Mr. Jordan, it's Fox News. Mr. Jordan Peterson has some words. Hey, hey, shh. 
virtue. And I should... the doctor is speaking. Having this interview in Pride Month, and so what are my th my thoughts about Pride Month? Well, the first thing I would say is that you should be very careful what you name things. <laughs> and pride what is not virtue. Fuck? And I've brought that up with people before. You should be careful. Always is. Well, they don't. We used to be ashamed of being prideful. I don't really mean pride. People are just trying to affirm their own identities, and you know, you know, fair enough. Fair I suppose, enough to some degree, but. What about that men? was the name that was chosen, and that's the name that stuck. And pride is a cardinal sin, and there's a reason for that. And the reason is, is that pride means something like stubborn refusal to change when evidence of error is accruing, and it's not a good thing. Pride. There's a real tinge of narcissism, tinge. sexual narcissism, about the whole pride spectacle. <laughs> And you know, Sorry, his old, he, he name dropped my cat. Narcissism. He name dropped Sexual my cat. Sexual narcissism. He name dropped my cat. Yeah. Um. I don't know why this has to be explained to a seventy-five-year-old man. No, I'm just disparaging him. But Tinge, Tinge is chewing on the pride flags. <laughs> There's a, there's a tinge of sexual narcissism going on here. No, let her wave the flag. Oh my god. She's freaking the fuck out. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> She's like, fuck it, the case. I hate get pride. That get that shit out of here. Pride cometh before the fall. She's like, fuck pride, bitch. Fuck them gays. <laughs> and fuck you, too. All right. <laughs> Love that video. I fuck just, I them just, gays we, and fuck you too. Do we really have to explain to this grown man <laughs> that... <laughs> Her mother is sticking pride flags in our cat's collar. My daughter is homophobic. Oh my god, she's gonna break her neck. <laughs> <laughs> well. Wave the flag, bitch. Nah, bitch, she's homophobic. I can tell. Tangie is a, is a <laughs> LGBTQ foe. <laughs> Most cats are. <laughs> Dude, someone at work yesterday thought I said that my cat was non binary. What did you actually say? <laughs> Like, I think I made a joke. Like, oh, my cat. Like, uh, my cat's pronouns are they, them. They're like, really? I'm like, no. What the fuck? Oh, my God. That is. Like, wow. No. She's when just, did it know? She's a baby girl. My cat Siamese uh, is black, but acts Chinese. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Sorry. What does that line even mean, though? I don't. Oh no, dude, he's just saying nonsense. If I could talk to Eminem from the past, he'd probably say everything's gay. Like happy. <laughs> dude, that was dude, modern Eminem sucks so bad, but that was like it wasn't even like so it didn't like piss me off. Like he literally talks about I'm only trying to offend you. <laughs> but like it really wasn't even that offensive. It was just a bad song and it was a reused beat. Do people have the right to express their sexuality the way they see fit? Yes. Mm -hmm. As long as it doesn't harm other people. And that is something that we learned in grade school. That was something that our conservative father taught us. Our homophobic, wannabe Catholic, <laughs> atheist father told us. If he can figure it out, why can't you, you fucking Canuck? Um. <laughs> um. Oh, um, Hold on, gotta grab that for sound. Do people have bites. the right to express their sexuality the way they see fit? Um. <laughs> um. Um. I cummed. To some degree, if it's consensual and among adults, but generally among human beings with any degree of civilized comportment whatsoever, it's a pretty damn private affair. We tend to be private. Uh, in our sexual conduct as a species. And so this isn't exactly private. And 
It's also the case that identities based on something as narrow as sexual desire, let's say, aren't identities at all. They're pronouncements of subjection to instinctual whim. Uh, I hate him. Oh, God. He just fucking yaps and yaps and yaps. First of all, you created the identity when you shamed them and tried to cut them out of society. You created the identity by oppressing them. That is what justifies that form of pride because they are made to feel ashamed and so pride is an act of revolution. But that's 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 too postmodern for for Jordan's fucking Canadian mind to understand. And I also have a real problem with the idea of the LGBT plus et cetera community, because it's not a community. And it's especially not a community right now because the trans pushing, gender affirming butchers and liars primarily target young people whose most likely outcome on the sexual front is homosexuality. So the trans gender affirming butchers and liars are <laughs> The butchers and the liars. Transgender affirming butchers and liars. Differentially destroying the youthful gay community. And that's not. <laughs> and merely my problem with the trans communities. <laughs> They're taking away all the gays, all the twinks that I usually like to fuck. All these twinks that would just be happy as gay men in bottoms. Are now becoming women. Ah, um, 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 um. Not a community by any stretch of the imagination. Not a community. And there's a famous conservative thinker, Chesterton, and Chesterton had. Who the fuck is. What? Is that his screen name? What? When he says a famous conservative thinker, is he just dropping a Twitter handle? And there's a famous conservative thinker chesterton and chesterton has chesterton uh, uh, like what kind of fuck ass name his chesterton GK chesterton is based on the observation that if you're walking somewhere you don't understand and you come across a fence you should probably not tear it down because you don't know what it keeps in or out and the pride movement has torn down a lot of fences and maybe what some of those fences needed what? to go what is he saying this is what i'm talking about bro Stop trying to analogize and philosophize everything. Some things are just simple. But all of them didn't need to go. And this need pride movement has torn down a lot of fences. And maybe some of those fences needed to go. But all of them didn't need to go. And there's plenty of monsters coming out to play now. And I would say that's especially true on the transgender affirming side. And that's why we're seeing this butchery in the medical community abetted by idiot allies and driven by greed and those aren't the worst monsters that exist and so if you tear down enough fences you're going to find out what they're for you suck enough penises you're going to find out that they bust bucko now i read recently like this week that support for gay marriage for instance i have a fence that keeps in all of my gooners so they don't escape and goon all over people in the neighborhood. If you tear down the fence, where will my precious gooners go? I'm the one who feeds them I come. They can't survive without it. You don't know what you're doing when you tear down these fences. Which is plummeting. Yeah. Right, it's like, well, keep pushing, keep pushing. He's gonna cry, you're gonna lose I know everything it. you've gained. Cry. And I'm not celebrating that. Cry, at pussy. All. That's not cool the point at all. Cry. But like, I'm just done with it. I don't like the flag. I think it's a piece of idiocy. I don't understand why it changes every bloody week. Suck my I dick don't know and who choke makes on those it. Decisions. I don't like the acronym and all the mystery surrounding it. I don't like the fact that the LGBT agenda, whatever that is, increasingly dominates the school system. I don't like the fact that it's targeted at young people. And I think the surgery, the gender affirming care movement. I think it is Nazi Auschwitz level awful.
that they should not only stop at Sorry, Jordan, are you there? They've decided to do we lost it. you for a moment, bud. Targeted at young people. And I think the surgery, the gender affirming care movement, I think it is Nazi Auschwitz level awful that they should not only stop and now as they've decided to do in the UK and in most places in Europe, but I think all the people that were involved in the surgical transition of minors should be imprisoned. So there's a lot of house cleaning to do on the pride side of things. And I don't believe that a celebration of an identity that encapsulates something like 3% of the population before it became a fad is, is inclusive in any manner whatsoever. So I think all of it's pretty much all of it's a lie and it's a dangerous lie and it's a lie with real monsters hovering on the edges. And so what is the lie? What, what be specific? What's, what's the lie? Huh? Sorry, I said we've been going for a while. Yeah, well, we, so I know. I'm sorry. If you tear down enough fences, you're going to find out what they're for. Now, I read recently, like this week, you know, that, that support for gay marriage is plummeting. Right? Says, it's like, well, says, keep pushing, keep pushing. You're going to lose everything you've gained. Wait, hold on. But if and we I'm get rid of gay marriage, then we're at all we're liable to be bombed. If we get rid of gay marriage, what's stopping us from being bombed? We would deserve to be bombed, right? Yes. We're already in deserving of being bombed. I know, but I'm, I'm going with their twisted logic. Yeah. If we go back and, 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 and get rid of all the progress we've made uh, with gay rights. Oh, have you been to progress? Huh? Have you been to progress? I've been to Prague. You've been to progress? What's progress? It's a gay bar. Oh. In Chicago. <laughs> On the corner of Halstead and Belmont, chips dip and sip. Stop, because it basically is, is Zach. <laughs> when I, that's why I gave you that fucking cross street. No, I've never been to Progress, but I would love to go. Um, Actually, neither have I. It's right next to Sidetrack. I've only been to Chips Dip and Sip. I think they're combined, though. Progress and Sidetrack. Progress and Chips Dip and Sip. No, the, oh. Chips Dip and Sip is a little farther down mm. um, the street. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways. Um. No, 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 no. Shut up. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. So yeah, if if we if we if we if we went back on all the progress we've made, then we would deserve to get bombed. And we're basically Palestine at that point. I I just don't understand. Oh, that's not the point at all. But. Like, I'm just done with it. I don't like the flag. I think it's a piece of idiocy. I don't understand why it changes every bloody week. I don't know who makes those decisions. I don't like the acronym and all the mystery surrounding it. I don't... You don't like the mystery? Surrounding. I don't like all the lore. It's too hard to keep up with. They release a new edition of the, of the lore every week. It's just, it's so hard. The lore is How am I supposed to run a D&D &D campaign so when I can't keep up with the new lore? The, the lore is just so and, and the mysteries behind the acronym is because it stands for lore. It's LGBTQIA+. Lore. Uh, it's lore. Uh, barracks. Uh, training. Uh, Quests. Adding guild members, that's the plus. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. So basically, Jordan Peterson deserves death. Uh, that's we've been known that. Um, and you know, we we kicked off. I think we kicked off Pride. Um. So, Jordan Peterson says, "Happy Pride." Obviously, that's that's what by we taking do. the ultimate load. You can take the ultimate load. I'm sorry. He's Dad. like, I don't like pride because I back in my day at Stonewall, we used to have to compete uh, to earn our pride. If we didn't take the ultimate load, 
Well, we didn't earn our pride that year. Wow, God, I got to work on my Jordan Peterson voice. The ultimate load, not only can you take a load, you can take the ultimate load, and even better than that, that you find your true calling and destiny in your willingness to take the ultimate load. I don't like the fact that the LGBT agenda, whatever that is, increasingly dominates the school system. Oh, well, we actually, we know what the agenda is. And I think this is a perfect place to end the episode. I don't like the acronym and all the mystery surrounding it. I don't like the fact that the LGBT agenda, whatever that is. Well, I can tell you exactly what that is, Jordan. The queer agenda is the decolonization and destruction of the U.S. empire and all nation states. The power being returned to the hands of the people and absolutely nothing less. Period. 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 The ultimate load. Really, uh, sorry, again. And uh, yeah, tune in soon. So yeah, there. Yeah. Seven W T.